Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. Today drained me. Caught me as a lifetime favorite home. I was at the end. I was at the end. Made me feel like that. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, today has drained me, okay? Today is one of those days where I just wanted to just throw in the towel. But I pushed through and I'm glad I did because I love how this entire look came out. Like, it looks so good. I actually didn't even like my makeup like 10 minutes ago, but now I'm like, <laughs> you look good, girl. You look good. So today I'm going to be working with XRS Beauty and they sent over, believe it or not, a kinky straight unit. So I've been doing a lot of kinky straight wigs and I've been styling them the same. And I wanted to do something different. So I decided to wand it. This kinky straight this is the one first of all I'm this is straight out the pack I didn't pluck anything I did not you know wash anything bleach anything none of that and it's so full like look how full it is like all throughout this looks like if I did like a like a what's that called flexi rod set on my hair which I really wanted to do but I didn't have time for that okay I didn't have time so I just busted out the curling wand and it looks so so good so if you want to hear my thoughts on this hair See how I got this hairstyle? Make sure you guys are checking the description box. All the information will be down below. Now that is just rude. <laughs> um, subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and keep watching. Enough of my rambling. Let's get into this install. So XRS Beauty sent over this Yaki Straight unit. And this is it straight out the box. It looks so good. It was so full. It was 200% density, which is the thickest density I've had in this texture and I loved it it was just so fluffy and full it came with a 13 by 6 frontal which you guys know I love and of course their infamous clear lace and their pre-plugged clean hairline it's just check 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 all the check marks that you need for a pop-in wig so I wanted to do something a little different this time and I wanted to wand this hair well really I wanted to give the effect of like a twist out or like flexi rods so that's what I'm gonna do I didn't have time for that and ain't nobody got doing all of that so I whipped out my curling wand so this is the Dyson oh <laughs> let me get ahead of myself child this is a chi not Dyson I was thinking about Dyson because I want a Dyson um, this is the Chi Lava Curling Wand. It gets super, super hot and holds a curl so good. This is actually my favorite curling wand. It's really, really skinny, but if you wrap enough hair around it, it will give you a nice wand curl. I was using the Remington for years, which is, you know, OG, I still got her, but this one, this one is different. So I do have a video on my channel of me having a better angle curling. I was wearing white, so I kept turning the footage dark. That's why it's like choppy, but I will link my other um, wand curling video down below so that you guys can see that if you're not familiar with how to wand the hair. But this was very ununiformed. As you can see, some pieces are big, some pieces are small, some are going one way, some are going the other way. I did not want this to be super perfect because I feel like when the hair is all going the same way, it like curls into each other instead of being big and fluffy. So this was the end result and it looks so good. It has texture and luster and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I really like how it looks. Like, it literally looks like a twist out. It looks so, so good. So the wanding process took about 30 minutes, and I highly recommend doing it on the mannequin head because it's a lot easier. Get a better mannequin head than me. I keep saying I'm going to get a new one, but I don't realize that I need a new one until I start recording. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's gonna look fluffy like this if you do it on the mannequin head and all you have to do is apply your wig. We love that. So you guys have seen me apply my wig a million and one times. Um, all I'm doing is spraying my even spray and that's it. I don't use glue. And I actually had on a nude wig cap and you guys are gonna see why I don't use a nude wig cap because I'm like, why you not using a nude wig cap? Why you not using black? Why you using black? But this is why I use a black one because you can see it underneath. It wasn't clockable when I was done, but it was clockable. So, um, yeah, and I was just having a very off day. Like, I love the final look. I'm so, so glad that I pushed through. But, like, I'm actually, today is the day that I did this. So I'm still feeling this. You're getting the true emotion, the day of emotion. Um, it's just one of those days where, like, my anxiety is high. And, like, there's nothing wrong. But, like, I just want to, like, lay down. But I know I have stuff to do. So I'm trying to keep on track. And it just is, like, stressing me out. But it's, like, not that big of a deal. If you know, you know. 
Um, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> I am just, um, you know, applying it. Sit back, enjoy. You guys know the vibes. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will say though, that this hair is bomb, okay? This hair has been holding the curl all day. My hair is still fluffy. I've never wanted, well, I have wanted um, kinky hair before or yakky hair, but it typically drops. This has been holding a curl and it's just so fluffy. Like when I combed it out, I was in awe. Like I was like, oh, I didn't expect you to have this much body yachty, but it is 200% density. So of course it's gonna be very, very full. I don't know why I attempted plucking this because I never pluck hair dry. There's nothing fun about pluck plucking dry hair. So just skip this step because the hair doesn't need to be plucked. It really wasn't necessary. I mean, to each his own, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing, but it really wasn't necessary. So I just put some more serum in my hands, ran it through my hair, and then I combed through it just to kind of like fluff the hair out. And I absolutely love how the curls came out. I feel like with um, wand curls, it could be hit or miss because I'm no professional, baby. So it can, it's like flexi rods. Like sometimes your flexi rods come out perfect, sometimes they don't. That's how I feel with wand curls. But they came out so good and I was so impressed at how fluffy it was, but like it wasn't combing out the curls. The curls were still staying. So I was super, super happy about that. And that's pretty much it. All I did was add some baby hairs. My baby hairs were more dramatic than usual, but this reminded me of like that flip over method. Like, you know how you do like a flip over sew in or quick weave? You don't have a part, so the, you typically do like over-exaggerated baby hairs. And you guys know I like baby hairs with curly hair, so that's what it was giving. See, I was really excited. So, um, you know, I did my soup of the soup, soup, soups, and that was pretty much it, guys. So, make sure you guys check out the description box um, for XRS Beauties wigs you know this one or any others i highly recommend them but to be honest i don't recommend any wig that i don't like because that would be a waste of my time and a waste of your time and time is money you feel me so um yeah i would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a nice yakky texture a thick one i've worn a lot of yakky wigs and i do like them but this one has that that fullness it's 200 percent density and a lot of them are typically 150 because they want it to like mimic like more natural hair and you know a lot of us have maybe thinner hair I don't know what the, the theory behind that is but I've never had a yakky or kinky wig over 150% density all right so I would definitely check this out if you like some body body like look at this swoop, look at the swoop. I was getting to it okay and um yeah sorry if my energy's off in this video I will be back and better next time I mean there's nothing wrong I'm just human it's like some days I just, like my brain is so scattered right now. It's like, <gasps> breathe. But I was determined to get through today. So once again, thanks so much for watching. Watch to the end because I look very cute. Thank you. Because I really wasn't feeling this look um, until the end. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think. And what other styles would you try on like yakky, kinky hair? Because I can't stop getting them. Like I keep asking for them. Like I'm like, you have kinky yaki i like it so um let me know what y'all want to see next and thanks so much for watching